Hello and welcome to something kind of unique, uh, not a reaction video. I guess, uh, you know, it's like breaking the mold, to say the least. Uh, but yeah, Casey, you suggested me to do a Genshin, uh, which character are you? The extremely extensive Genshin Pack Kim quiz, which playable character are you? Um, usually I would say, I don't really care about that kind of quiz, but then when I saw like, um, the way it described, uh, you never have to take another one of those uh, godforsaken quizzes. Let me say dark. Again, because this result is final, yes, we'll update it when more characters come out. For winning, this is going to be really long. Um, we'll see how long it is, I don't know. But yeah, I thought, like, with the, like, introduction of it, could be pretty interesting. Like, I do that, this kind of quiz, like, once in a while is a joke, like, the purity, uh, the rice purity test, and stuff like that, once in a while is a joke, why not, you know, that will make, like, a, a different video for once on the channel, so. I think it could be interesting there. Thank you, Casey, for the suggestion. Link in the description for the quiz, obviously. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, link to my Twitter, Discord, Twitch, BDB. You know the drill. Alright. Let's do it. Order along. Uh, 75, okay. Uh, firstly, I don't know why this is so dark. Is it me? Where is the side dark? Uh, it might be me. Yeah, here we go. It was my uh, dark reader, which makes uh, side darker. Um, I'm an introvert or extrovert. Ambivert doesn't exist, and no, I will not take criticism. Uh, definitely introvert. You know, might not. Well, it's probably like obvious on camera. Uh, even if like you want to seem that bad, but yeah, in real life, it's like this. Um, next, what is your MBTI type? I don't know what that is. What is MBTI? Well, we're starting well. Um, let's open another tab. MBTI. Um, the Myers Briggs type indicators an introspective self report questionnaire. Indicative different psychological uh, performance now. People perceive the world. Okay, I have no idea. So let's just say I don't know. No idea. Uh, what's your zodiac sign? Lion. So Leo. Uh, what's your Hogwarts house? Besides eating GK running, that should be a given. I... I think like, long time ago I probably took one of those tests. I don't remember though. Yeah. And like, as far as Harry Potter goes, it's like, you know, we would choose anything else than before now anyway. Like, Scissoring is clearly supposed to be the bad guys, and the others are just like, the boring. So, I don't know. I just say I don't know, since I don't remember. Uh, the lowest point of your life, what deep rooted desire keeps you going? Desire to protect, desire to shape your identity, desire to help, to be free to success. Uh, success, I guess. No, passion, passion. That's much better, yeah. Literally that. What is your sexuality or what is the closest straight? Fair enough. Uh, how is, was your relationship with your best father? Uh, pretty rough. Uh, mother, great. In a room with someone in danger, strike, fire, attack, etc. How do you feel? The desire to protect the other person, the desire to be protected, the desire to run, probably. Uh, fight, freeze in fear, go numb. I think run, but I don't really know. I haven't been into like, a situation that bad. Can you suppress pain? Suppress physical pain, but not emotional. Yeah. Suppress emotional, but not physical. Suppress both. I can't suppress any kind of pain. I mean, I don't know if I can suppress physical pain, but it's like, you know, it's in some way easier to deal with than emotional pain. I do prefer to receive love, love languages, word of affirmation, act of service, quality time, physical touch, give giving. Uh, I guess I have word of affirmation. I do show love, uh, word of affirmation. I do react to being embarrassed. Get really quiet and choose the peer. Angry and sensitive. I wish it off. Okay, I guess, yeah. Quiet and choose the peer. How would you react to someone giving you a spontaneous hug? Uh, dance up and just stand there. Give the person a super tight hug. Hesitate at first. Pull back and push them off. Give them a hug and ask if they are okay. Dance, dance up, I guess. Not really, you know, very comfortable with like physical contact. Do you have any regrets in your life? Andres of requests and date at me constantly. <laughs> you know. Alright, I don't need to read the rest. Here we go. Whatever person do you find most annoying? The suck up or pick me person? 
the large branch person, the know it all, self centered who makes everything about themselves, the person who doesn't respect social cue, the liar. Self centered, everything about themselves. What ensues will hurt the most uh, to be correct. Um, annoying, stupid, selfish, asshole, unreliable, freak. I don't know. Uh, I've pretty quickly called call all of them, so. I feel like one stand out, let's say, unreliable, maybe. Which information from the uh, from me to you make you feel the most loved? You've been so strong, uh, you're so many talents, you're loved, you can buy them up a room, you're so intelligent, you can do anything that you set your mind to, you're so beautiful. Hmm. I guess you've been so strong. Out of these pets, which one would you want the most? A petty bearded dragon, she likes to throw herself of uh, things and can give leaks on commands, she also enjoys sleeping under blankets. Cricket, bearded dragon, he loves to cuddle and lay on you. On you, kind of dumb and wants to mate with any bearded dragonesses. Uh, Osiris cat, as he has a Greek goddess, likes to zoom and tries to eat other animals. Also, we use the bathroom with you very sweet. Okay. Hercules, iguana, aggressive little boy, likes to eat you, but is too small for it to hurt. Um, to hurt him choosing you, make feel honored. Okay, I was gonna say like it's not just me. The English is a bit weird. Fine. Uh, Andrew Malus, turtle, no brain cells, try to walk in the air like head pet. Rocky dog, scared of everything and won't leave this room like hugs and know when you're sad. Uh, popcorn dog, she's tiny and likes to lick, she's also like to play in bark at men. Wet tiny sweater to stay warm. What? <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, the, maybe like the cricket, I like the party just to cuddle and lay on you. Like one of my cats literally sleeps on me all the time. So, I'd say that. What color character are you? Inspired by Cowboy Tinkerbell on TikTok. Red, blunt, scary exterior, quick tempered with stranger. Uh, orange, knows the white net more of people. Yellow, accidentally cause trouble. Nope. Uh, green, the only brain cell of the group. Nope. Uh, blue, trust, well, see, this is the best in others. Nope. Uh, purple, love pranks. Nope. Pink, constant mom friend. Honest to a fault. Wear the emotion on their sleeve. Nope. Black, gray, feral, father figure, though. Tough love. Hmm. Um. I don't know if any of them works, I just say red because I like red. What do you like when you're sick? Uh, keep to myself and not so much. Uh, yeah, sure. What is your moral alignment? Uh, I have no idea, I never thought about it. I have not thought about it. So I just say I don't know. Like, it would take a while to think about it and come to a decision. What do you do when you're insulted? Snap back almost immediately. Yeah, it depends on the day, but sometimes it's like that. Shut down and get really quiet. Uh, try to understand, start crying, ignore them. Try to understand where they're coming from, I laugh. Ah, uh, snap back. I do feel anger. I feel a hot anger that does in occasionally makes me angry. Cold, numb anger that can make me cruel. I feel a fiery anger that lashes out at anyone nearby. Yeah. I do feel fear, something that grows in my chest until it consumes me. Sharp burst of intense panic, and of all uneasiness that doesn't go away. Cold chill in my stomach that keeps the intensity over time. Yeah, I think that's a good descriptor. I do feel sadness, no matter that surrounds me. Fairy agony deep into my heart. Uh, deep wound in my chest. An anchor pulling me under the water. A sharp knife in my back. Uh, fiery agony. <laughs> Alright. I guess we'll put it that way. I do feel happiness. I feel giddy like a child full of energy. Warm throughout my body and make me feel at home. Smoke satisfaction that makes me feel like I can roll the ball. Uh, intense of fire that consume me. Enjoy an adrenaline. That's a good one. I do feel love. Romantic and platonic. Crying as I appreciate those around me. Intense pull toward the person. They are what make me roll. Feelings toward the others casual and content most of the time. But sometimes I feel such a deep admiration and love for them that I'm taken aback. Warmer and more at home when I'm around the one I love, like a game of hot and cold. Hmm, I feel like a child once again, as I want to open up and show the others everything that makes me who I am. Surprise and often don't know how intense my feelings are, until I'm forced to confront them. Usually just know that I enjoy their company, until I realize it's much more. Except when I love go hand in hand for me, it gives me uh, my life spice and meaning. Ah, uh, I'd say this one. Um, feel it toward the others casual and content most of the time. Sometimes I feel such a deep admiration and love, I guess. Which feelings do you have the most, assuming all are the same intensity? 
random sadness, stress, frustration. Uh, stress. Which of the scenarios is the best vibe? Watching the sunset over here, uh, dancing in the cool rain on a hot summer day, driving through the busy night, uh, city night at, with the window down, sitting by the fire with a cool stormy night, uh, riding a fast boat, getting it with the spray of the water, sitting by the fire on a cool stormy night, so dancing in the cool rain on a hot summer day. What is your dream room? More or less like this, but better. Uh, room filled with technology, room that mimics the feeling of being outdoor, different activities, full of cute soft things that make me feel at home, uh, breakable object that I can smash, um, full of book, full of kind of animal, I guess soft things I'd put, I mean, I wouldn't be like my collection and the whole field with what I like. What is the biggest deal de breaker in a fun part now? Self-centered and unkind of my issues, lies to me, insult me or others, who talks all the time and never listen, copies everything I do, cold and distant. I guess self-centered. Are blurred clear the line between good and evil? And where do you fit? The lines are extremely blurred, so I couldn't possibly best myself. Black and white, uh, slightly blurred. The line is slightly blurred now. It's definitely uh, extremely blurred. Are you Sherlock or Watson? Based on the Tumblr post from somebody's Watson. Sherlock, realize on other others to succeed. One personal recognition and credit find Watson will encourage them to do something great. Um, as to the best at what they do or else feel pointless. Watson, more independent confidence to not need recognition, find a Sherlock in their life to inspire to do something uh, incredibly great, doesn't feel the need to be the best at what they do as long as they feel content. That's definitely me. Just, you know, I don't intend or think I could ever be the best reactor or something like that, so my intent is just to to enjoy this, basically. Yeah. So, it's a good description. How important is an to you? Incredibly, I hate lies, even if they're for someone who's own good. It's important for me to say I care about, but besides that, I don't really care. I know people lie all the time and I have no issue with it. Honestly, it matters unless a life for someone is not good. Yeah. How much of yourself do you show to other? Nothing one knows me. Okay. I mean, I would have said that like some years ago probably. Uh, to strangers, I show the part they want to see, but to those close to me, I show a certain amount of who I am. To strangers, I show a little of me, but to those close to me, they are the one who fully know me. Open book. Hmm. I guess to stranger I show the part they want to see. To this close to me, I should say them of where I am. Uh, I'll turn it all. That's a good way to put it, yeah. How would you, your younger self, feel about you today? Uh, not like the person I've become and others. They would love and admire what I've gotten. They would be disappointed for some things. Uh, they would be just extremely confused. Uh... I don't know, it's really an odd one. I feel like it's a mix of they would love and admire how far I've gotten, but at the same time it's like they would be disappointed in some things, but overall would be proud. But also extremely confused. Yeah, it's like two at one, so I'd put confused. What is your fitness style? Going at the gym, don't exercise other than walking through my day, enjoying team and sports, activity that I enjoy, push myself. Uh, none of them. I do like I have a home back right there. I do like like 20 30 minutes like in the morning. That's really it these days at least. Um, so I guess let's put it as walking because it's not like I go out on my back. I just see many uh, inherently dark and cruel, natural, full of possibility for the side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a mix of both, absolutely. Are you judgmental? Yes. How do you express yourself creatively? I mean, what I do is like you know, like. Check out media and, you know, critique it, so. Uh, how do you express yourself creatively? Classic art, music, um, physical, writing, cooking, logical activities. I'd, I'd say music, making and or playing, which I don't really do that, but, you know, my channel is like so much music reaction. How comfortable are you with being alone? Extremely. Some days I would almost prefer to live alone. Some day alone is nice, so, yeah. What is the best period of, period of a person's life? Childhood, there are no responsibilities to worry about and you can just play all day. Here we go. What kind of kid are you? Quiet and shy, stereotypical good kid. Yeah, basically. Probably in a pitch or make care. Uh, I mean, yeah, quiet and shy. What is your attachment style? Can I play to friend or partner? Anxious, uh, avoidant, fearful, secure. 
Um, worried about the partner will leave them. Very dismissive of new love and affection, distant to their partner, especially when upset. I clear the parent that did not care for their emotional needs. Let's go with that. How do you handle conflict? Uh, direct and logically. Try to think out how to respond most time, but can react on, some, on the spot when I need to. Intensely, focus on telling the situation and take a lot on the situation. Slowly, I really like to think about what to do before I act. Uh, quickly and sharply. React instantly and intensely. I don't hesitate. Openly and clan calmly. I think... Hmm. Like quickly and sharply. Like it depends. Sometimes quickly and sharply, and sometimes direct and logically while seeking. It depends. How much does money mean to you? Money is everything. I mean, you know, like even when I was young, to this day, it's always been like not enough money to like barely live, so it's always been a thing. Yeah. Can't go with that today without like money problem. Uh, as you share someone up, jokes, confront and empathy, give them space. Probably that, like, I'm terrible at like, um, when someone is crying and wants comfort, I'm terrible at like, I don't even know what to say and I struggle with physical contact, so like giving hugs is not something I really do easily. I really have to force myself to do it. So, yeah, I think just space. What's your learning style? Visual. Learn best with visuals, representation, and diagram. Auditory. Uh, reading and writing. Tactile. Um, I guess tactile. What's your style on average day? Stylish and fashionable. Comfortable. Um, I don't care. I look as long as I feel good. Yeah. What's your favorite type of food? Some kind of meat. Yeah. Here we go. What's your favorite, uh, least favorite type of food? Food, uh, vegetables. I mean, I like fruits, but not vegetables, so. How do you want people to see you? Swim and tough, intelligent and capable, reliable and kind, energetic and fun, quiet and wise. Uh, I guess energetic and fun, I always think that, like, I'm just not adequate for being, like, a streamer or reaction channel. I'm just, like, too, you know, from being, like, a fully komori, neat introvert for, like, many years too quiet and not like the most reactive person despite loving to do this and loving to watch reaction so I often think yeah I wish I could like without speaking it be more energetic and fun for like streams and video like some stream I managed to be somewhat like that and some stream I'm not and every time there's a stream like that I just think yeah I wish um, that would have been a better stream yeah but I can't really force it I still tell your morals extremely. I know what's right and what's wrong, and I often don't like people who disagree. Moderately, I have a personal idea of what is right and wrong, but there are situations where that doesn't apply. Yeah. Uh, you're in a large group of people you don't know well, and are assigned some form of group work. How do you act? I take charge and lead the group, get to know the people within while figuring out how to complete the goal. Stay quiet and figure it out on my own without saying anything. Here we go. Uh, how do you make new friends? Wait for people to come to me. Yeah. New roommates, but after a few weeks, you realize you guys don't get along well. I do cope. Take every chance I get to be passive aggressive, move out, keep to myself, sit down and try to work out your differences, be direct about your issue, be out of the ass as much as possible. Yeah. What do you do when you're sad? Is with myself? Yeah. I do sit in a chair, back on the back and feet on the floor as good and dead. Back on the back, but feet um, off the floor in some way. Feet on the floor, like I haven't slept in 10 years. <laughs> probably like that, I don't know. No, it's probably like just a straightforward, like, you know, feet on the floor and back to the chair. But I move a lot, I can't sit still. Uh, when do you feel most like yourself? When I'm alone? Uh, what do you need right now? Uh, to know if I am on the right track, some validation, peace, to be accepted, a friend, ter therapy, uh, strength, money, <laughs> money. I feel like if I take this quiz like once a year for the last 10 to 15 years, it would be money every time. The first option. How much have you changed since you were a kid? A lot, I'm a completely different person. Pretty much completely. A little. But overall, I'm pretty much the same person. Yeah. What is success? A lot of money, overall happiness, being well known, um, solving all of my problems and knowing peace. I mean, that increased money, so I'll choose that one. Which scenario brings you the most peace? 
Waking up to my partner and kids, making breakfast in the daylight, walking down a busy street with the highest fashion, seeing eight many friends on my way to work, sitting alone in the mountain painting the sunset, a child again playing and sick, sitting under a tree, Thanksgiving and I'm surrounded by dozens of friends I have made through my life. I don't like any of this option. Uh, let's say painting the sunset. I don't like any of this option. What is music to you? Mood lifter that sets the tone for the moment one day. Reflective tool that unlocks all emotion. Storytelling method. Background noise for event or action. A bit to move or dance to. Literally all of them. Literally. Uh, I don't know. Let's put reflective tool for emotion. Uh, how empathetic are you? Extremely, any pain around me, something I feel deep in my heart. Somewhat, I can feel some things around me, but not all. Probably. How do you feel about authority? I hate authority and I often go against it. Authority is fine for anyone else, but I don't like when it impacts me. Uh, I think authority is needed, but sometimes it can be abuse power. Authority is important. Authority is important and necessary for a successful society. Uh, I mean, fuck the police, but, you know, I still go along with it. So I guess authority is... It is fine, but I don't like when it impacts me. It's a case by case, as always. How open minded are you? Extremely. Uh, I'll basically hear anything else. More or less, yeah. Like, even like the most like obvious you're wrong to me on the first uh, word you're saying. I mean, I guess you could always have like a discussion. Um, at least I feel that way, but I've never been like in a situation where I've actually like at some crazy discussion about something. Yeah. How long does it take you to say goodbye to someone you care about once you realize the toxic for you? Uh, makes me a little bit. It takes a long time, I guess. Uh, at what period of your ch uh, life did you enjoy the most childlike interest? Always, in a way. <laughs> you know, like, I got into anime and manga and all that when I was like 11, 12, I think. And now I'm like 25 and, you know, that hasn't changed. I feel like I'm even more into all that. If you consider like VTuber and all the type of like Utaite, Vukain music, which I got to be this fair otaku stuff. So, yeah. As a teenager, as a young adult. Um, so, will you enjoy the most childlike interest? I probably say as an adult because that's probably like the longest part of my life. If you consider like adult from like 20 to... I don't know, like 60, and over 60 is elder. I don't really know, like, what's the consideration? So, like, good 40 years. And, uh, you know, you never know where things go, but I don't really think I'm gonna go away from, like, those interests that I have. Uh, so, we'll see. I say as an adult. How exp expressional are you? Extremely, most people can take one look at me and know what I'm thinking. They, I can have some feelings, but most of my thoughts are pretty obvious. A little. If I feel strongly about subject, you know, but most of my thoughts are on display. I think so. Um, I mean, they're not displayed on me, but obviously, uh, you know, much more is all about telling my thoughts about things. Do you care about uh, what people think of you how much? Uh, yes, I care a lot, even though I wish I didn't. How do you take criticism? Very well. I'm not one to get offended easily. Pretty well, if it's meant to be constructive, even if it's also little. I can be a little sensitive to it, but if the person is coming from a good place, I learn them out. How easy do you forgive? I'm pretty open, but I draw the line as someone breaking my trust too many times, I would say. Depends on the situation or person, yeah. Uh, congrats, you made it. Tell me a secret. Record me a song. Hmm. How about, uh, I don't know, what am I into right now? Kanzaki. Kanzaki Yori hated by life itself. Alright, Sayu. <laughs> okay. Sayu, that's a surprise. Um, you've had a lot of responsibility since a young age. You had to take care of yourself for the most part. And also you had the guidance of others, which was never enough to keep you from feeling lonely. You've come to resent some of those people and the action that you have been forced to do throughout your life, which makes you go against the grain of fun. This can be great at times, but it can also frustrate those around you. Uh, this is so accurate so far, I don't like it. Instead of pushing the things away that you hate, you need to start focusing on the things you're passionate about. Well, that's what I'm doing. Not listening to people telling you that you're doing something wrong. Not that you listen much anyway. Yeah. However, at time when you can be very caring and considerate, and when people don't put pressure on you, they get to see a side of you if you do. Since many, uh, many put responsibility on you at all times, you deserve the break uh, you want, and you need to ignore those who you don't respect. Uh, those who don't respect that, because they don't deserve your time. 
。なるほど。なるほど。あいたあいつ、そう、9% あやか、だなるべど、ここみ。would be cool if I could have read like what it is. Yeah, I don't know how many people took the test. I don't know if this is like a big test, but yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, sure, like some、uh, more personal question, but as I said before, like, you know, I don't shy away from that.、Um, I haven't done it on stream or video, but I've done the rice p u s i t y test, for example. That's much worse than this in terms of like personal question.、Um, if you want to know, I, I got in the 40s as far as the score. But、uh, no, that's really interesting. I mean, say you,、uh, you know. Uh, it's just like this kind of test is like,、um, how do you even get Sayu? You know what I mean? Like, how from all this question do you even think this is relatable to Sayu? Like, we've seen so little of Sayu.、Um, she doesn't even have a story quest. We've seen like little bit in the domain story, and that's really it. Yeah, and I guess there's a character, probably like a descriptor. It's just funny. But yeah, that's quite interesting. I actually don't dislike this kind of a quiz. Um, I do like doing them kind of, so yeah, it was、uh, pretty interesting. Pretty interesting, say.、So, um, Casey, thank you for the suggestion. I might do some more video like that if people are actually interested. You guys could suggest、uh, more like quiz like that on whatever or like content like this. I think、uh, doing something a bit different from reaction once in a while might be fun. So yeah,、uh, that's really alright. Link in the description for the original video, the link to Uh, my Twitter is called Twitch and Bilibili. If you want to follow me, my stream elements, if you want to support me, as always, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, and see you guys next time. See you.